Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from BTN HD, and today is all about deploying Edge Chromium using SCCM 1910. So let's get started. So first things first, we need to open up your SCCM console or your Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager, right? Uh, we need to go into Software, Overview, and within Overview, you're going to see a folder called Microsoft Edge Management. So select that, right click on it, and click on Create Microsoft Edge Application. You're gonna get a nice little wizard, provide a name, a description, and the location of where you want to drop the source files. So I provided the following, uh, that's the name that I gave it, and that is where I want to drop the source files into. Once you do all that, click on Next. From here, within the Channel drop-down menu, you have two options, Dev or Beta. It really depends on what you want to deploy out. I'm going to deploy Beta within this video, and the last option is Latest, or you're able to check specific version, click on the drop-down, and pick which version you want to deploy out to your environment. Now I picked 79030956 and I clicked on next. And from here, do you want to deploy the application now? Sure. Click yes. Once you pick yes, click on next. Pick your collection, click on browse and pick your collection. For my collection, I pick all users. I clicked on next there. From here, you want to click on the add button, pick your DP, pick your distribution point, then click OK and click on next. For the deployment settings, action, I said install, but for the purpose, I did not say required. I changed it to available. I want this package or this app to be available to my users, so when they have the time, they could click on it and install it. So from there, I clicked on next. For scheduling, I left the default, clicked on next. User experience, left it to default. Alert, default. Summary, click next. It's going to start doing this thing and done. Now, if you go inside that USC path that you provided to kind of download that content into, you're going to see a new folder. And inside that folder is going to be broken down into two flavors, 64-bit and 86-bit. 64-bit has an MSI. And I want you guys to pay attention to this PowerShell script because I do receive a problem when I'm deploying it. I'll show you guys how to fix it. Don't worry about it. And the 86-bit. Okay, 8664 has an MSI file with a PowerShell script that is going to deploy the MSI to your machine. If you go inside software, overview, application management, applications, and you're going to see your new package. Okay, make sure, check the status, make sure that it's been distributed to your users. Uh, make sure that there's no errors when you pushed it out to your environment. Now I have a testing machine that already has the software center client, my SCCM client installed. So I'm gonna click on start. Within start, I'm going to locate the Microsoft System Center folder, expand that, and then click on software center. It's gonna start loading up and you're going to see a new app, right? The app that we just created. So I clicked on it and I clicked on install. It looks like it's working, no problem. And Boom, I received this error. So I said to myself, what in the hell happened? That PowerShell script is being used to deploy to your environment, right? So that means you have to have your computer's execution policy set for that PowerShell script to work. So what I did is locally, I opened up a PowerShell and I, I did a git execution policy with a parameter of dash list. And as you can see, this machine doesn't have any of the policies, they all undefined. So just for testing purposes, what I did was I set the, I set the execution policy to unrestricted. And then I, again, I did a git execution policy with a parameter of dash list. And you can see that the local machine policy is unrestricted. I went back into my software center and I retried it again and bingo. It installed. Now you will notice on the desktop the nice little icon for the Microsoft Edge beta, right? If you double click on it, it's going to start loading up. It's pretty cool that it kind of uh, identifies what login account I'm logged into this machine. And then once it loads up, you click on get started. And I kind of check no, I don't want anything to sync and just get started. And that's it. That is how you install Microsoft Edge Chromium. Right? I think I say Chromium. <laughs> Uh, with SCCM 1910. Now you got to make sure that you have SCCM 1910. If not, you're not going to see that um, that new option within 
the, what is it, Microsoft Edge Deployment Management. You're not going to see Edge Deployment Management. So make sure you are upgraded. Make sure that your SCCM is upgraded to the latest and greatest, which is 1910, and you should have that option to create your package. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button, and make sure to subscribe and also share out the video, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.